I think the thing I find most a shame is, uh, is that they are losing out on the connection to, uh, to the dynamics in the music and the details. And very often in, in those details lies the emotional content and the emotional message uh, of the music. Um, I think a convenience format like MP3 or, or AAC is, is fine for the convenience uh, so, so something can be very portable. But uh, that shouldn't be our standard because the, uh, what, what, we're, um, what we're aiming for in the studio is to get the listener as close as possible to the emotional message that the, that the artist is conveying. And we do lose a lot of that uh, in, in these uh, low resolution, these loss, uh, lossy uh, compression formats. Um, high resolution is what we hear in the studio. It's what the artists hear when they're working. And that's what they are uh, fine-tuning to get their message across. That's where we're working with, uh, with them to get their message across. So uh, when you take away that resolution, as human beings, we respond to those details. And when, when those have been uh, removed, then you're, you're missing, more than anything, you're missing, the, uh, you're missing the emotion, you're missing the connection, you're missing the feeling that you're involved in that particular song. Okay. The best thing you can do is sit them down and get them to listen to some high resolution. Um, it doesn't take much to, uh, to, to convert people, to, uh, to, to turn them around. Many people think it's good enough because they haven't heard anything better. It's become a standard now for, uh, for, for the listening experience, particularly for young people. They, they haven't heard anything in any other kind of, uh, kind of resolution. Um, but the portability aspect of, of these low resolution files um, is disappearing because it is becoming possible to easily carry uh, and, and uh, upload and download uh, the high resolution files. So once people have had the experience of listening in high resolution and realize what they're missing, it doesn't take long for them to tune into the fact that, that, that it is better. And when it becomes equally convenient and uh, not any more expensive to, mm -hmm. to, uh, to access these, uh, these files or these, uh, this listening experience, then there's no reason not to do it. Right now, the, the reason why these lossy formats have caught on is simply because it's, it's very, uh, it's very convenient, it's very handy, it's, it's fast, it's easy. But when high res becomes fast and easy also, uh, I can't imagine that anybody mm -hmm. will choose uh, to, I can't imagine that anybody at that point will prefer uh, these lossy uh, compression schemes that we're, that we're using now for, uh, just for convenience sake. Um, I think also uh, the resurgence of vinyl is largely, uh, uh, largely a quest for, for higher resolution, higher quality. Uh, because that, uh, while vinyl has its limitations and is certainly not ideal in terms of portability, um, it does generally have better sound quality than these uh, than these lossy uh, compression formats. And people are looking for that; they're searching for it. Now, when uh, when the technology is available for people to get the, the the high resolution versions of the same material, and it's just as fast and just as easy, I can't imagine they won't go there. Soon, I think uh, I see signs from from iTunes that they're absolutely searching for this. Uh, I think other uh, I, I can't speak so in depth about other uh, other forms of electronic distribution, but there are a lot of uh, a lot of uh, portals available now already for downloading high resolution files. Um, there are some nice physical media now also for high resolution, including Pure Audio Blu-ray, um, and I think. I think everybody is striving for it because, like I said, I can't imagine why you would choose not to do it when it can be, when it can happen and it can be fast and easy. It, uh, it, for, the, for the companies that are releasing, the companies that are distributing, like Apple, uh, Spotify, all of that, um, once, once the uh, ability is, to, is there to distribute the higher resolution files, they will. They, they simply will. Uh, so they've been working in that direction for a long time. Okay. Don't you feel you know, I remain optimistic, and, and I'm not so optimistic by nature. You know, like I said, I'm a New Yorker, so uh, <laughs> you know, we're a bit cynical about everything. But, uh, but I do remain optimistic that, uh, that, that um, people will have that experience eventually. And when they, when they do, then, then they're hooked. So um, it is a shame for now that people are hearing uh, a lot of material in a less than ideal uh, uh, 
situation, but that's always been the case. And what matters the most is that people are listening to music, that they're hearing it, that they're enjoying it. I think that they will get more enjoyment out of it when they can hear it closer to the artist's intention, which is of course what we always uh, have the, the fortune to hear in the studio. But, um, but the important thing is that they have access to the music and that, that they can listen to it. Better that they listen in a, in, a, uh, in a less than ideal format, in a less than ideal situation, than that they don't get to hear the music at all. So that's, uh, you know, okay. we, we can hope for improvements, but, uh, but still better something than nothing. Okay.